If you're not actively following an animal, the best way to get a radio signal in dense jungle like this is to get above it. And I'm starting to learn something else about this island. There are no limits. It's great. I'm about 50 meters up from the ground with a stunning view over the whole forest canopy. This tower is one of seven that forms a spy network over the entire island. There's one over there and there's one right behind me. 24 hours a day, they're tuned into the radio signals being transmitted from the forest below and beaming them back to computers in the lab. The great thing about these towers is they don't need to eat, drink, or even go to the toilet. They don't need a break at all. Now these towers are constantly talking to each other. Well, what are they talking about? Well, mainly they're talking about ocelots, agoutis, and a sloth that have been radio collared and are living somewhere in the forest below me. Scientists can now monitor the animals they rarely get a glimpse of by remote control. The computers compare the strength of signals from the collars to work out the animal's location. So now researchers can tell where each individual is at any time of day or night. But what's really revolutionary about the tower network is that it also broadcasts what the animals are doing. Motion sensors in their collars reveal when they're active, sleeping, and occasionally when they've died, giving us surprising insights into an agouti's life. The data from the tower shows that some agoutis are up and about all night, but why would they risk coming out when so many predators are on the prowl? This is just one mystery scientists are hoping they will solve using the wonders of radio waves. <laughs>